Okay, in this video we'll be showing you how to make a 7 segment LED display that is driven by and changes based on a counter. I've seen, uh, I've seen one 7 segment LED display in another video. Um, I was kind of disappointed by the way that the 7 segment system was laid out, which I've uh, improved on here, and it was just done controlled by switches, so we're going to make this one automated. Again, uh, for those of you who do not have much experience with 7 segment displays, they are lettered A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, laid out like that. I've opted to go three across, three up and down. Um, as you can see over here, laying all of that out was a relatively complicated task, but pretty easy to logic out. Everything is uh, essentially symmetrical, so after you get started, it's not too hard to figure out. Over here, we have switches corresponding to each segment, and I just have a little reference chart over here to make my work a little bit easier and it'll help me explain what I'm doing as I go. For example, once uh, the counter hits 5, it would be segments A, C, D, F, and G that we would want lit, which would correspond in binary to 0, 1, 0, 1. This first section is just the display. I'm going to need to make a lot more room for it over here, but uh, over here will be the actual decoder which controls which segments are lit based on which number is hit. Then somewhere over there will be a binary two decimal decoder which will tell these right here which number will need to be hit based on the binary input which will be four switches, zero and one. And then somewhere way off in the distance will be the counter itself that outputs the binary that goes here to the decimal decoder, which finally goes back here to the display. But uh, I'll just show you one thing at a time here. Again, to have a 5, we would want segments A, C, D, F, and G. So we'll go ahead and turn off the others. Which ones they are. Yep. Alright. So we need to kill B and we need to kill E. I just killed E. E is way over here. There we go. And then we run back over to take a look. And we will have a 5 on the display. And here in just a moment, I will show you the method that I use to set up the decimal decoder for the seven segment display. All right, and the next step is completed. This is the first half of the decoder for the seven segment display. Right now, we can display any given number with its individual switch here. As you can see, I have torches on the side. Right now, all these switches are in the on state because they have to shut those torches off. Turning off the torch disables the redstone above, allowing those torches to connect to the redstone below. And I just flipped number two. And as you can see, displayed. You'll also notice I had to make this area considerably bigger. Um, it took a lot more space to wire this than I originally anticipated. Turn off the two. Let's go and turn on something like a six. And I had to split these into two sections throw a repeater in there because uh, this took up way too much 
distance for it to be able to do it on its own. Wanted everything to be above ground, one level, so it was easy to show off. And there's our six. You could compress this a bit, put the other five underneath the first five, and make it so that the torches uh, are underneath the line for the other five. But again, I want it to be all above ground here, nice and easy to see all at once. That's basically it for the first half of the decoder. Now the fun part starts. We get to throw in all of the logic that uh, makes it decide which of these numbers it turns on based on a four-digit binary input. And I'm going to go ahead and end this part here, and part two will show setting up that logic. I'm going to do it in two parts, maybe even three, because I need to mine a lot more redstone to have enough to get that done. I'm also going to have to make this a lot bigger as well. But uh, that's it for part one. Part two will be up in a couple of days.